Probably better at the beginning than this. This is weird. By defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. Athena! You will! Don't let him open the door! Oh my god, I totally cheated that, but it worked. I didn't expect him to be that close to me. It worked. That was nice. I knew that was going to happen. This is a, a skip, a very easy skip. So basically, I just set myself up in the sling while that cutscene is playing of him being weakened. So I don't waste any time, and I the, the immediately when he's done being weakened and he can be QTE'd, I immediately jump on his face, and I went really fast. Usually, if I enter this pool at two minutes, I'm going really fast. So, yeah. Now we can progress a little bit. Oh my goodness. Show no mercy! Excuse me. It's a good thing these these QTs in the beginning are all the same. They never change. The next one will be circle, circle, square, square. And it's close to being a dick to me today. It'll be circle, circle, square, square. On our way, guys. Watch your flank. Show no mercy.
the beginning is not that flashy, in my opinion. But once I get inside the classes, it gets pretty flashy. Come on, Kratos. Stop wasting time. Ooh, that one's smooth. Usually that jump is really inconsistent. No, his jumps are a lot better. And his overall movement is faster. He's like amazing at the game. I mean, I'm close to the world record. My my potential, if you see my some of the best, my, that's my, my upper tier potential. That's my, like, potential, if I really set myself to it, and get, like, a really good run. Alright, this is where a lot of the the beginning, the, hard, the the hardest beginning of the game is right here, when I enter the Colossus, because it involves a lot of precise high jumping. That's the first. That's the first time in a long time I haven't gold that split. Try for all these so far. Nice, not bad. Let's take it. I don't think I'm gonna really get close to the world record unless I learn every single skip that he knows. Which I don't. He uses the Atlas Quake high jump, like professionally, and I don't. On my route, I don't use it, but I'm learning it in the process of learning it. But thank you for the support, I appreciate it. I have to go up here to set a loading trigger, because if I don't, I can't escape from here. I know I couldn't have a perfect Colossus. Okay, that was decent. Alright, let's move on.
What power could possibly defeat the god of war? Come on, be nice. Hit me. Thank you. Thank you. He hits you about seven times before he chokes you and stabs you. So you want him to hit you every single time he swings that sword. If you don't, it's wasted potential. But the time it the timing it takes Zeus to start slicing you is complete RNG. It's all luck. So sometimes nice could be I mean new Zeus could be nice to you, sometimes he won't. But generally speaking, he's kind of nice to you. So we're gonna save some time. I did a really shitty Colossus last run. Nice. And right now, I with that gold, I've put myself sub 115. I never lost faith. <sighs> yes, nice by murdering him. But in, in in terms of speed, I need to get stabbed to progress the run. So I want to be fast. See, I told you I'd be out of roads in 11 minutes. Oh, that was fast. Normally I don't get that. Normally I do not get that. I'm not in third place, I forgot to change that. I'm in fifth place currently. To succeed, you will need more help than I can do. My titan brother slumbers deep inside his mountain prison. Alan Dite, if you're listening currently, please type in chat exclamation point discord. Because I have a discord, which I use to communicate with you guys. It's the way I tell people that I'm live. So if you want, like, updates and stuff, um, look at the link that's posted by one of my mods. It's exclamation point discord. And I think it's a mod com only command, so I don't think regulars can say it. Stop it. Thank you, Adib. See, Adib is good for something. I also have a YouTube. I put all my PBs on YouTube. I also put on like any skips or stuff, tutorials and stuff. I put them on YouTube. Adib is the MVP. Thank you, Adib. Okay, this is like one of the few breaks I get during this run. So I gotta use it. No, Adib, you're cool. You're doing... You're, you're helping out. I like when people help out. Because <laughs> obviously I can't type that in that chat right now. So, thank you. <laughs> now hopefully this, this high jump goes smooth. Everyone wants a smooth high jump. Also, if you guys have Franker Face Z... If you guys have Franker Face Z, I have a custom emote for hammer jumps. Whenever I use the hammer to do a high jump, you can post that and spam it. If you so choose.
Thank you for letting me do that. That's one of the most stressful skips in the game. Time waste. <clears throat> Let the rage of the Titans fuel your blades, Kratos. All right, Eve. Have a good dinner. Probably a, a protein of some sort, plus rice. <laughs> All right. So you can nom nom while I go fast. Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens. Another big swim glitch. The one of the bigger skips of the game is the swim glitch. And it's gonna make a lot of things be really easy. I bet it's delicious. I bet you guys make it really good. Alright, hopefully this guy's a not an asshole to me. Because I had to speed this up this segment, I just gotta dash forward.
So, all you guys in chat, are you guys pumped for God of War 4? Or should I say simply God of War? It's God of War 4. It doesn't really roll off the tongue right. But God of War 4. Is everyone pumped? Because I'm pumped. Although it's going to be way different than these games, I'm still pumped. It's still Kratos. Alright, I want you guys to wish me luck on this next skip, because this can be kind of tricky to trigger. Really tricky. It involves going out of bounds and jumping into a pool that doesn't really exist. But I make it exist. And as a result, Kratos goes into a swimming state, and then I can swim through the level. It can sometimes work, I can sometimes get it first try, but sometimes it just can't. Thanks, Aviv. Nice. That was pretty good. I'll take it. Where? Oh, my goodness. If I went in there, the run would be over. Because I put a checkpoint there, and that's what I do not want. fast. I like it. Not a bad split. I like it. I like it. This is a pretty good start. I'm gonna roll with this. The steeds of time, a gift from the great Titan Cronus. I'm trying to wonder why I go, why I hit the ground so hard there, because the distance that I'm that I jump is not that long. I'm thinking when I get stuck up in that area, it actually like thinks that Kratos is moving. So if it thinks Kratos is falling, it's gonna do the uh, the slam down animation, which saves, which makes me lose like maybe half a second, which is not what I want. Which is not, which is what I don't want. So you'll probably see, whenever I jump from like a great height, I will slash before I hit the ground because it cancels that. My menuing needs to get faster. That was the Theseus fight skip. Because the game is nice to me, it just gives me the horse key. Because the game likes me. Like, normally I would have had to kill Theseus to get the horse key to do this puzzle, but because the game is nice, it just gives it to me. Thanks, game. You harpies. I know, it obviously hates me. I don't think we're really going to save any time here. At all. I don't think. We might gold it. I don't know. It just depends on my movement up here. No. 
I will save time because usually I fall down that and I have to climb it up manually. But sometimes I kind of get it, like right there. Sometimes I can land right where the key is and just put it in. But most of the time I land at the grabbable wall. Alright, now that the horses are done, we got the Divine Pool Swim Glitch. And this this glitch skips half the game, a little bit under half the game, and sends me straight to Atlas. It's a really cool skip. It overall makes this game way quick. We got a minute. We got a minute into the Divine Pool Swim Glitch. Nice. That's what I like to see. <clears throat> Return to the island craters. Your journey to the Sisters of Fate has only just begun. This beginning is getting is really really good. Hopefully, the swim glitch doesn't say fuck you. The swim glitch loves to say fuck you. There's three different ways of inducing the swim glitch up here. I've picked the one that takes, that's still risky, but not as risky as one of them. And then one of them is no risk at all, but there's no guarantee you're gonna get it. Now we cannot do the swim glitch without getting this um, this medallion, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, you need this medallion, 100% guaranteed you need it. You cannot finish the game without it, so we have to get it. But otherwise, we don't. It's really not that important. Now technically, I don't know what happens if you don't get it, because I don't. I've never actually tried it. But I'm assuming you probably can't kill the sisters at the end of the game because you need to slow down time for it. Now they put a checkpoint right here, so if the swim glitch goes wrong, I'm pushed back here. So I'm gonna reassign the checkpoint to the save point. As a safety precaution. I'm gonna sacrifice about ten seconds. The relic that you hold. An amulet of the sisters of fate. With a look. Allow you to lose swiftly through time while all around you slows. Now we practiced this, we got it pretty well. We practice, so let's see what happens. Come on. Nice. 
Okay. Cool with that. That was actually pretty fast. Okay, we got a good run going. This could be it. This could be the day we PB. I wish everything would appear, though. I'm pretty convinced that I will never gold this split, ever. Well, for one, because the first time I did a run of this game, I got the swim glitch on the first try with the fastest method. So I'll never gold this split. Restart. No, I don't think I have to restart. I just have to beat the shit out of him a little bit more. Okay, good. Oh, that was sucked. I just had to do a little bit more damage. So we're gonna lose a little bit of time. Wait! Perhaps the sisters have sent you to help me. I realize now. That was pretty good. Who discovered the swim glitch? Well, the swim glitch is an ancient, ancient God the of War glitch. It's been in every single Eagles. game you must get back to the in one form or another. Because the way the swim glitch works is the game doesn't really know the difference between air and water. So if it puts Kratos in a swimming state, it always puts him in a swimming state no matter what. If he hits, If he touches a body of water. So, what, what the, the mechanics of the swim glitch is, you just go out of bounds and enter a body of water that's out of bounds, and you can swim out of it. And you'll swim forever, until you reach, like, for example, uh, a cutscene like that, that takes you out of it, or you get stoned. It's a lot of different ways to it. Like, you, it's very good to trigger the swim glitch, it skips everything, but getting out of it is really, really tricky. Because you need to get out of it. There must be some way to get out of it. Now this is a lot of concentration, so... I'm not going to really explain glitches right here.
And this one's a tricky, a tricky, tricky skip. Now I want the checkpoint here, so I'm gonna let this cutscene play out. Oh, this is a good run. This is really good. My beginning's actually really good. This is not really, this doesn't happen that often. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Usually that takes, like, two tries. Oh, I gotta calm down. Alright, that's fine. Nice, okay, that's not that bad. At least we can continue this. What do you mean you'll be dead? Do you have school stuff? Exams. That sucks. Nice. We still save time. That's all I wanted. You dare show your face to me after what you have done? I will make you suffer, Kratos. <clears throat> Why would I ever trust a servant of Zeus?
All right, onward to the highest infinite jump of the game. That was a little slow, but we're fine. That was dumb. I don't know how he was able to pull that horn off. Get on the fucking thing. All right, let's do this.
I've forgotten the words. Read it. Hear me, sisters who control the threads. Keep going. Another yes, it is really stupid. I agree, Dante. Read it. I think this is one of the worst parts of the series. I think it's slow. He is worthy. I think it takes away from the whole... No. Please, no. You're a god, I cannot do it. but you can't even handle a fucking translator. Read and accept this sacrifice of my blood. Read. Indeed. Okay, we got a good running going. It's not super optimal, but it's still something I can work with. He's, yeah, Kratos is pretty brutal. Alright, this is another, it's a very simple in nature skip. A lot of people can understand this one. This is very, it's pretty easy to understand. So basically, right here in the next room, at the top of the staircase, Athena is going to talk to me in the form of an unskippable cutscene. So what I'm going to do is stack it with this cutscene. So I stack it with that cutscene. So now that cutscene is playing as this one is playing, and then I just save 8 seconds. It's a very neat, it's a very neat skip. Zeus did what he must to protect Olympus. So good to get that first try. Nice, this is so good. Whew. Read the words. Hear me, noble sisters who forge our destinies. Another seeks an audience to change their fate. Read. As proof that he is worthy. No, I'd, Kratos. Kratos should note that, that the killing the translator all. will literally solve this puzzle. Stop. I don't know why he doesn't know. Like he doesn't even think this of it. Your purpose. Die with honor. I, I think I'm gonna gold this split. My blood to illuminate the way. I think. Nice. We're back to a minute. Let's see if this skip goes well. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. We'll have to see. Nice. 
nice. Oh my god, dude, we just saved a little bit more time. This is good. This is really good. I just skipped another cutscene and the whole puzzle. Ugh, please, Kratos, move. Alright, things, things kind of cool down up until this next split for the next four minutes. So, I can take a breather. I just skipped a, a battle trigger, so now I can just go through here like nothing. Now I'm going to put my cutscene on the save point right here, because if I don't, and this next skip screws up, then we could be in trouble. But usually it goes right. I think. Hopefully I hit that trigger. Nope. It's always bound to happen. There we go. Usually you can tell by the camera angle. There we go. So, we lost a little bit of time. It's not that bad. We would have lost more if I didn't put the cutscene, if I didn't put the, the reset there. Oh my goodness, this is a good run. This is a really good run. Let's roll with this. Now make dumb mistakes. We might lose a little bit of time unless they get this jump first try. My heart rate skyrockets during specific skips because I can screw them up really easily. So I gotta like, I gotta like calm myself. And that's, <laughs> yeah, my heart rate does go up. So right now, I, you would think, oh man, why doesn't he just do the jump right now? But no, I have to, I have to flip this trigger twice to load the next area. It's like a must.
come too far to fail. Oh, my goodness. This is very good. Yep, I am cursed. I don't know if it's the fastest, but the world record holder says I am cursed during that scene. What's up, one true tree? How we doing? How we doing? Believe it or not, I have two minutes to save at the end of the game. Two whole minutes. Two whole minutos. I'm gonna do a very minor high jump here because getting on this tentacle is balls. Just want to do it. Not world record, but I mean, I guess I'm going for world record. Everyone is whenever you try to speed run, but I don't think I'm going to get really close to it. Hopefully this, this glitch is nice to me. Because I can trigger, I can make it so the, the slowdown doesn't happen when I enter this next area. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This will save a bit of time. Come on. Nope, didn't get it. By like mashing the forward stick and pressing a circle, I can make this slowdown turn off. That's okay. It's not a big deal. But normally, grabbing, uh, trying to grab a box or something on the maps turns that slowdown off. Well, technically in this area, because the slowdown should be off in general. So when you try to open a box, it'll just turn it off automatically. This is a really fast uh, first sister fight. Oh, this is so fast. Oh, this is good. That was really good. Give me good RNG. Stop throwing balls at me. Just move. Thank you. Alright, let's 
let's go. Let's do this. This is so fast. Oh my god, are you kidding me? God damn it! We gotta wait for another cycle. This is why I hate Rage of the Gods. Here, please. Thank you. We might have lost a little bit of time, maybe like 7 seconds or something. Sorry if I'm not caught up in chat. This requires, like, there's no breaks in between this where I can look at chat. Sub 117 definitely is possible. go see what we can do here Stop. That was super sloppy, but whatever. Come on. There we go. Good. I'm glad this triggered. Because if it didn't, I would have been fucked.
Wow, I'm losing all my time. Why? It's not that bad. We have two minutes to save. At least two minutes. And you will be able to control the mirrors of the fairies, the source of their power, and use them as a gateway to return to the time when Zeus betrayed them. Ooh, some Let's Play strats right there. Yes, that is definitely one of the harder parts on Titan. Now I get a nice little break as my final cutscene. And I have no idea where Jordan Medusa is. Medusa's just not here today. He was offline on Discord. Clotho skip. That's all I gotta do is Clotho skip. That's all I gotta do. Clotho skip. Clotho skip. That's all I gotta do. We got Clotho Skip. Alright, now we've guaranteed save two minutes. Because before I didn't get Clotho Skip, so we got fucked. Let's see how this run pans out. The power of the fate resides within the Oh my goodness. My heart's racing. This is it. Use them as a gateway to return to the time when Zeus betrayed you. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Let's finish this run out. Now there's an inconsistent phase skip I can do here, but I don't know how to do it. I think I just have to like, I get really lucky. But it triggers me, it makes me not have to go through the whole process of damaging him again to circle him. It just bleeds right into it. Oh, we got it. 
We got it. This is a really good run, guys. This is a really good run. I told you I would make you pay for what you did. I am through playing with you, Kratos. Ooh. Now let's just screw up the QTE. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be funny if I was on a world record run and I screwed up the last QTE. Fun fact, that's what happened with somebody that was about to get world record. Another runner. That doesn't really run the game anymore, but it was pretty funny. That'd be hilarious if that happens. I will release you from your life, my son. But your torment is just beginning. Alright boys, this is it. Oh man, I just missed sub 117. I just missed it. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Whatever. I'm happy with that time. I'm happy. That was good. That was a really good run though. It's a shame I fucked up that the last jump halfway through. That was good. That was really good. Um, Adib, just go on YouTube and put EXE World Record Fail. He literally fucked up on the last QTE, the last one that mattered. Damn, this is an that was an incredible run.